Hey everyone, welcome to Karen from tillycrafts.co.uk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and today I'm bringing you this project with zany zebras and this is with, I took part in an inspired ink blog hop where a lot of demonstrators get together and they, this, this month's theme was your favourite up to now from the new catalogue um, and we post on our websites on the Saturday, so that's Saturday the 20th of June. So you'll be seeing this on Sunday the 21st is the tutorial that goes with my um, my website. So these zany zebras, can't stop playing with it. I've done quite a few tutorials with this, but I love it. Um, so I decided to do, because I've done lots of coloured cards, so I decided to do a black and white card which is apt for a zebra because they're black and white. So this is my card I did for the blog hop. Um, and there'll also be another one on which we're going to do today. And I thought I'd do it slightly different. So instead of it being a black base uh, with a white layer, I'm going to do it the other way around. And we're going to have a go at heat embossing. So I have no idea what it's going to look like. So it might be naff and it might not be. So let's get started and see what we can come up with. Um, I've got a piece of paper because I'm heat embossing. So for this, we need a white car base, which is four and a quarter by five and seven eighths once folded. So it's an A4 sheet cut in half and folded in half. So that's my base. So we don't need that at the minute. Um, my black layer that we're going to emboss on. And this is, let me just measure it is three three and seven eighths by five five and five eighths um so we've got that i've got some strips for the sentiments uh that's half half an inch and i'd like i want to say three quarters of an inch it's not three quarters of an inch it's five eighths of an inch that's right always get confused don't take a lot with me and for my sentiments i've used these stitched shapes which are brilliant and i've got them here so for these stitched shapes i can't even speak today for these stitched shapes you get ovals and squares and i've used the two biggest ones for the circles and they give a nice stitched edge on them so we're going to be using them. So that'll be my layer and my zebra's going on there. So let's have a go at this. So to heat emboss, you need an embossing body. Unfortunately, we don't sell them anymore, but I've had this one and it just takes the static out of the card um, and like your fingerprints that can stick to the embossing powder. Um, might as well do it all in one go. It will be a bit loud when I put my heat tool on, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. I believe you can use corn flour, but we'll have to wait and see what uh, comes out. So for this, I'm using my Versamark ink and I have happy birthday out of here. So we'll stamp that up first and <clears throat> pop it on here. just see that and then we're also having wild about you so that can go on that end actually that's it so that's that done let's pop that out there now for my zebra on here is going to be this little cute one so that should just fit on so i'm just stamping it up well and then get it in uh, give it a good press down you can't see it um because it, obviously it's uh see-through <laughs> i'll show you in a minute though you might be able to see it so for these i'm just going to randomly stamp them over here <clears throat> so like i said i've got no idea how this is going to turn out but it's good to try new things isn't it and that's what crafting's all about, trying something new. I'm not too bothered about that bit there because that'll be where 
my sentiment is going. Right, so I'm just going to pop those out of the way and then I'm just going to get my white. Which one have I stamped on now? Is it that one? How good's that? I can't even see. It's that one. So I'm just going to do it over there because I need it on there. Can you see how it's come on now? And then I'll do this one. This powder goes a long way. Oh, it's come out nice. Right, and then I'm just going to put the rest of it over here just to ensure I've got it all. There we go. Let's tap it off a little bit. I'll show you how to get rid of those bits in a minute. I'm just going to put the powder out of the way before I get it all over my desk. Those bits in there are like a uh, little bits of black card, but they don't stick to anything, so I'm not worried. Pop the lid back on that. It's out the way, and then all I do to get rid of those little bits is I've got a makeup brush, and I just go around it. And this one. There we go. Let's put that out of the way. <clears throat> right now, if you've got yourself turned up loud, I would turn you down because turn me down because this is quite loud. So apologies for that, but we'll get it done as quick as we can. Right. Always make sure your heat tool's quite hot before you start and then it doesn't take as long. So oh, oh, oh. So I'm just going to go over it until it turns and you can see it in a minute, it's just starting to turn now, there we go, I'm just going to turn it around because I'm burning my fingers, it does go quite quick once it's started, I'll show you that in a minute, I can't pick it up, I've, got, I've just done my nails and I can't pick anything up. Whoa, come here. Oops. Let's just check. Yeah. Let's put this one in. Um, my upline actually showed me I didn't, I didn't think to get it out if you can hear me over this uh, but you can put it on like um, a block or the stamp on Rattus template let's turn that around so you can see there he's not done but you can see the others have gone bright white Checking I've got all the bits done. Yep, that was about good. Let's turn that off. <coughs> Pop it down there. So you can see now how they've taken. I don't think I've missed any bits on that. And these come out quite nice. I did catch it a bit there, but never mind. And sometimes when you're doing it on the white, um, I turn it over and do it a bit on the back and then it doesn't warp as much. Right, let's pop this one together. Right, so I need 
at the minute I'm using this ribbon up. I'm just double check because I don't think that is in the catalogue anymore, but it just works so well with my project that <clears throat> no, it's not in the catalogue anymore, but there is this one, this glitter organ ribbon, and it's a black sparkly ribbon, so that would work really nice with this as well. But um I haven't got any of that at the moment, but like I said, I'm gonna use this up. Now, for this one, I tied the bow separate, so, right, so we're going to have him on here, so I'm going to put a bit of glue down here for the ribbon to stick to, because you won't see that, and it is wider, the glue is wider than the ribbon, so I'll just do that, turn it over. And put a bit of tape on the back. Flip it over. Let's make sure that's level. Turn that over and stick it down. That's fab. No, it's not because it's not level. That's it. That's better. I like that now. Right. So we've got that on there. That'll go nice. I think I'm going to glue this one down and then we'll put the um, zebra and the sentiments up on dimensionals. <clears throat> Just going to put a little bit along the edges carefully because then make sure it all sticks down. You can actually, if you wait a bit, you could always put it under like a heavy punch or a book to straighten it out a little bit but it's not too bad there we go oh, I quite like that actually I'm quite impressed it's come out nice right, where's my circle so this one's slightly bigger than the other one because I did use a punch on the other one but I thought I'd give the stitch shapes a go This one is going to go up on dimensionals and <clears throat> it's going to use these black ones, I think. I'm going to put a few on just to make sure it's stuck firmly. Let's pull that off. Right, whoops, stuck to my nail. So he's going to go there. So this is slightly bigger than the other one. Let's turn it around like that. But I must admit, I quite like it. It's going to tie a little ribbon, bow. It's going to tie a bow with a ribbon, even. Oh, it needs to be a bit bigger. Oh, tied it perfectly when you lot went on. <laughs> and then as soon as you uh, put your video on, you can't seem to get it right. right. Let me just cut the end of that off. And we do want it slightly bigger than the other one. No, I don't. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I might leave these a little bit longer than the other one. A bit too long. There we go, I like that. Put this one in a bit longer. So that's a good thing about ribbons, you can actually manipulate them until you're happy with them. And just to uh, secure that on there, I have a glue dot. So, 
just get your ribbon. This is the easiest way to do it, is to pop it on the glue dot, press, glue dot stuck, and then I can pop it on there like that. There we go. Let's just do the sentiments. Right, I'm going to try and do a little tag. I've just realised I've not got my snips here. And that's what I usually use to do my tags. I know where they are, they're on the other side of the room. But never mind. You can see I've got I have got some um white embossing powder over it but it just looks like little flecks on this so I don't mind too much right. bring these in <clears throat> my glue He can go on there, and then all I'm going to do is cut that one off there. This one, I was going to trim down a bit, just eyeball the middle like that, and then cut up. Same with that. There we go. I'm, so, I'm shaking doing this. It's just silly, isn't it? I suppose it's better with my snips. There we go. Put a couple of glue dots on those. These are the new black glue dots. I'm saying glue dots, they're not glue dots, they're dimensionals, uh, which is great if you're using black card as well. Let's pull those up. Right, so we're going to have. A happy birthday on there I think and then wild about you I'm gonna oh, I can't trim it off now wild about you there we go what do you think of that then something a bit different the only thing I will do now that's my original card and that's like the negative I am actually gonna put some sparkly gems on and I think we will go for, if I can find some, must have used them all. No, nope, I have some here. <coughs> I think we'll go for these. These are the Rhone, Rhone stones, rhinestones, the basic rhinestones. And I just think these will finish it off. So I'll put a couple on here. I like my sparkle. Can't help it. <laughs> right, so that's on that one and on this one. Oops, see, I knew I'd left that bit of black for some reason. Put one on there as well. Do like these hats it just adds that little bit of uh, extra bling oh, another one up there there we go so there we go there's my two cards for the inspired block hop so we've got the the white layer with the black zebras on and then we've got the reverse so it's like the negative 
the black layer with the uh, white embossed zebras on. You'll have to let me know which one you think you like best or if you don't like this one or not. But thank you very much for joining me. Um, and hopefully you'll have seen um, the blog hop on the Saturday the 20th. But if not, then hopefully you'll see this on Sunday the 21st. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye.